Better put some clothes on because the government may be peeping through your webcam. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Smartphone theft is a growing problem. And to counter this crisis, we're seeing companies invent new methods of protection to deter thieves, like a phone that will self-destruct. Aircraft manufacturer Boeing is making a phone for the world of espionage. It's codenamed Black, and it'll erase all data and deactivate if anyone tries to tamper with the phone or pry it open. Now, many details about this smartphone are confidential because it's for government agencies and companies involved with defense and homeland security. You got to wonder if BlackBerry is worried about the competition because they were the ones known for security. And on the topic of governments and privacy, it turns out that Britain's spy agency, with the help of the U.S. government, snapped photos from the webcams of 1.8 million Yahoo users, and most of those folks were not suspected of any wrongdoing. This is just the latest report from The Guardian that reveals details from the secret documents leaked by Edward Snowden. These government agencies were collecting photos from webcams of Yahoo users, and they said it was for facial recognition experiments, as well as to monitor existing suspects and discover new targets of interest. Yahoo says they had nothing to do with this, and Yahoo told The Guardian that this is, quote, a whole new level of violation of our users' privacy. Moving on to lighter news, let's talk about video games. Some online game play features will disappear from older Nintendo game systems. The original Nintendo Wii and the portable Nintendo DS and DSi will no longer have access to multiplayer, matchmaking, and leaderboards on May 20th. Offline play will still be available, and online play will still work for the newer Wii U and 3DS systems. And here's a new fitness gadget to keep an eye on. It's called Move, and it takes fitness tracking a step further by offering real-time coaching feedback. It knows what you're doing, such as boxing or running, and if you put the sensor on your wrist, it'll count your jabs. Put it on your sneaker, it can measure things like your landing impact. If you attach it to golf clubs, well, it can offer tips on how to improve your swing. And of course, there are achievements to share. It sounds too good to be true because it doesn't exist yet. It's asking for funding on its website and it wants to release the product this summer. It would like to sell the trackers for $120 a piece. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details at CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.